you doing? <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Jenny Q here and Willie, and we are here to welcome you to another episode of Stories and Stuff. That's right, we're here every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and today's Wednesday, so it's middle of our week. It is. If it's your first time with us, welcome. If you're back, so glad to see you, and always we're happy to see you. Um, so what we're doing this week, our theme this week is legend and myth. That's right. And what we do is we share stories in whatever format they come in and stuff, jokes and songs and information and research and all sorts of cool, cool things. That's right. Stuff is kind of Willie's thing. Stories are kind of my thing and we mix it together. We make a great team. Yes, we do. <laughs> so yesterday, um, in myth, we had put out an invitation to all of you to find out who you wanted to know or who your favorite character was for myth or for legend. And we got some good answers and we asked about who's associated with the daffodil because there's a Greek god associated with that flower. That's right, we did a lot yesterday. <laughs> and so some friends of ours mentioned Daphne. So we talked about Daphne and Apollo. He's my favorite god. He's god of light in the Greek mythology and he's also the god of music. Do, do. Do, 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 do. Yes, he is. <laughs> Maybe not that music, but yes, he's the god of music and poetry and all sorts of wonderful things. If you want to find out about them, go to yesterday's episode. Today's episode is about legend, a legend, a specific legend. Yeah, he's a living legend. He's still alive and he's amazing. He is amazing. And what's cool is I didn't know anything about him until a friend of mine who saw and responded to our invitation. Yeah, he did. And he told us that his favorite legend or one of his favorite legends legends are his name is Borges Salming. Do you know who Borges Salming is? I didn't know until yesterday. That's right. Borges Salming is a living legend. He is known as the king and he's still alive. He's quite incredible. There is a statue of him in Toronto. Yeah, a big statue of him and a bunch of his other friends. That's right because he's part of a thing called um, Row of Legends. He's one of 14. That's not very many people. No, it's not very many people. So I'm going to back up for a sec and say that as a legend, you can be a legend in any sort of thing. You could be a legend in writing, of course, in stories or in politics. Many historical figures who are legends. We can think of quite a few. Abraham Lincoln, um, you know, Ly Ly uh, Mackenzie King for Canada, uh, Nelson Mandela. There's all sorts of legendary people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's legendary people in music. Now this legend, Bray, is a legend in sports. That's right. Lots of legendary sports figures. Mm -hmm. And he is a legend with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Now you have to remember, Willie and I, we live in Waterloo, Ontario, Canada. So the Toronto Maple Leafs are a big deal where we're from. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. And so when our friend Adam, shout out to you by the way, Adam, Yo, Adam, dude, how's it going? We are so glad you told us about Borges. Yes, we're very glad and we wanted to share it with you. So he's our story today. Borges, let us tell you about him. He's amazing. So back in 1973, that's a long time ago. Hey, it's not that long ago. It's a long time ago. Okay, 1973, long time ago. Uh, he went and he got recruited. I guess that's what sports teams do, what hockey teams do. And they went and they recruited Borges and they brought him back to Canada. Now this doesn't maybe sound like a big deal today, but back in the day, there weren't many European players that were brought in to play with Canadian players because he is from Sweden, which is not in Canada. It's not in Canada. No, it's in Europe. I'd like to go there someday. Yeah, we maybe we will. Okay. But anyway, so he came to Canada and that was in 1973 and he quickly became a very popular player with the fans, but not with the other teammates. There were stories where on the ice he would get, what do you call that? Body checked? Yeah, he'd get body checked and slammed and all sorts of stuff on the ice. And it was allowed. Oh my gosh, hockey was very rough back in the 1970s. Yes, that's, that's what I hear and that's what I understand. But he stood his ground and he played like a gentleman. And he was one of the best defensemen ever to lay blades to ice. You're getting very poetic. I'm very passionate about this. I like Borges. 
Yeah, I like Borey too. And so in 1976, the next big thing that happened was he went back to play with his homeland, Sweden, remember it's Sweden, against Canada at Maple Leaf Gardens, which was used to be a very big place in Canada for hockey games to happen. And you know what happened? What? Tell us, Jenny, tell us. What happened was he came out and he got announced as they were announcing the lineups. And the Canadians in the stadium stood up and gave him a standing ovation for five minutes. That's huge. He wasn't even playing for Canada that day. He was playing for Sweden. He had made his place in the hearts of Canadian hockey fans, Toronto Maple Leaf fans, and they're pretty passionate. They are a very passionate group of people. And so let's move on. What else happened? In 1986, legends have lots of stories attached to them. And this is one story that is a huge story that follows him around. He got stitches. He got hurt during the game and he got stitches in his face. You know how many? 250. And they he had this big scar and well, it was very scary. Yeah, I bet it was very scary. So he had to go get that taken care of. And guess what? Two weeks later, he was back on the ice with his teammates side by side by side, doing his job being the king and skating and being a best defenseman and doing all of those amazing assists. That's right. He's known for being having some of the top numbers and giving assists, if not the top numbers in hockey assists. Now, I don't follow sports. I don't know what that means. Do you know what that means? I think it's impressive. I'm pretty sure it is. And let's see what else makes him a legend. Other things that make a Borea a legend is the fact that he is one he is included in the 100 greatest NHL players of all time. That's right. And he was entered into the Hockey Hall of Fame in 1996. 1996. And he is the fourth to be inducted into Legends Row for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Guess what? There's only 14 men on that team or on that bench, on that honor. That's right. And that is just incredible. So there's only, he's one of 14. And if you go to Toronto today, you can go and find that statue. Did we mention the statue? Yeah, I think we did. There's a statue of him in Toronto and him and the other 13 people on, on Legends Row. And you can go and you can learn about him. And if you want to learn about him without having to go to Toronto, we put some links. Yeah, we did. We put some links in with our post today. Just click on them and you can find out how amazing he was. Now, I did a little bit more research. I love research. And we found out that anyone who is on legendary, the Legendary Row or the Legends Row for the Toronto Maple Leafs, they have to exhibit, uh, you know, pride and honor and courage to be nominated and to be included. So Bore has all of those amazing qualities. So thanks, Adam, for sharing this modern day living legend. That's right. And I know that he's uh, still around because I, I looked him up and he actually he's back in Sweden now. And he had a wonderful message and he just wanted to say to everyone, please be safe. Uh, during these topsy-turvy times and stay home and, you know, take care of yourselves and the ones you love. So he's he's a man who has a great heart. He's a great leader. He's the king. He is the king of a Toronto Maple Leafs. Number uh, 21, I believe his number was. Adam, you let us know if that's right. I think I remember that right. That is very, very cool. So now we got the myth, which was Apollo and Daphne. Yep. Yeah. And we have the legend, which is Boris Dur uh I can never remember his name, Selming. Boris Salming, that's right, and he played for the Toronto Maple Leafs, and he's a sports legend beyond compare. Well, there's others, but he's he's pretty top. <laughs> Before we go, I have some stuff to share. I thought you might. I have a couple of hockey jokes. Do you? Yeah, 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 because, well, we studied hockey, and we are talking about hockey. Okay, <laughs> go for it. <clears throat> Here is today's stuff. Why can't you play hockey with pigs? <laughs> Why can't you play hockey with pigs? They hog the puck. <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> okay, okay, I got a better one. What do you call a monkey who wins the Stanley Cup or is on a team of monkeys that win the Stanley Cup? What do you call those guys? Mm, I don't know. Champions. They're champions. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I have one. I actually don't understand what it means, but I know it's funny because I have a friend who's a, into sports and I told it to them and they thought it was funny. So here we go. Uh, what do a hockey player and a magician have in common? <clears throat> I don't know. 
They both do hat tricks. I don't know. I was told it was funny. And if you're a sports fan, you hopefully will find that funny. <laughs> Here at Stories and Stuff, we like to try things, do things a little bit different. And we do it for you. So thank you for coming by, guys. This is the end of another episode. Uh, as we always say, um, we always invite you, please share your information, share your passions, share your stories, share your jokes, share uh, what you want us to do a story on. Um, and we're always curious about your community. We want to come out and meet you and find out what you do. And we want to talk about it and we want to share it and we want to know what you're passionate about. That is absolutely right. <laughs> so as we sign off today, we're going to say, what are we going to say, Willie? Share your love, share your smiles, and share your love. Have a good night, guys. You too. Or afternoon. Oh, and on that, create a legendary day today in honor, in, or, uh, in honor. Oh my gosh, I'm twi twipping over my, <laughs> I needing, I was twipping over our woods today. <laughs> Go create a legendary day. Um, be amazing and make sure you share with us and we'll give you a shout out. So this, today's episode is a shout out to Adam from the lap and Nadine who's here. Yo, yo, Nadine. Always good to see you. <laughs> see you later, guys. Have a great afternoon. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.